August Vernon, A-U-G-U-S-T, V-E-R-N-O-N, the Director of the Winston-Salem and Forsyth County Office of Emergency Management. You spelled everything right? Yes. So the training that's happening this week is called the Nationally Recognized ASIM, or Active Shooter Incident Management Course. And we're very fortunate to be able to do this course. Uh, we've not been able to do a lot of training for the past 18 months due to COVID. Uh, this training is being funded. It's being funded by the Department of Homeland Security with $1.8 million terrorism grant that we received several years ago. So that's afforded us the opportunity to do this training. The training has over 60 participants from 20 different local, state, and regional public safety agencies, including fire departments, law enforcement agencies, and EMS. And we also have emergency management officials and others in the class. And one of the benefits of doing a class like this is if we try to do this training real world in a real location, that takes dozens or hundreds of responders. We have to take over buildings or a campus. We have to take fire trucks and police cars out of service to do what's called a real world exercise. Or here, it's all being done virtually and in this room, which affords us a, a great learning opportunity. And in this three-day class, they actually run 11 different scenarios, everything from schools, from a mall, to an airport, to even, I think, a, a cruise ship. So they get a variety of scenarios. Uh, so that in itself is pretty valuable training. In between the scenarios, they actually get classes or modules that cover a lot of different topics. And in this course, they learn everything from how to respond to the incident, how to take care of casualties, all the way to doing what we call family assistance centers or family reunification centers, which is where you bring uh, example students and their families back together again. They learn about collecting information and intelligence. They learn about improvised explosive devices. They learn about histories of active shooter incidents. So that's a lot of training that takes place over these three days.